It's always a chance, and that's the beauty about Siege. It has so much depth, and so many times those flex rolls where you don't. If you want the cat now walking down the locker stairs inside a freezer, grenade goes out, doesn't actually catch the bulletproof camera, which is quite fascinating. There goes Hibana, first death on the side of E1. Dodez on the board for team or for E1, but Team Liquid so far holding the advantage. Now goes Astro to reset, so the defense <laughs> are almost perfect. Oh my god. <laughs> this is like. When c said that when Liquid gets the opening kill, they have a one Oh, Oh, first pick, Team Liquid. What did you say? Perfect when it happens. Raps is in, by the way. Getting the diffuser down or trying to has to bail off with the shotgun, killing Palu. Suddenly, the upper hand going in favor of E1. What is the only one down? Volps and Palu gone. Volps was a perfect 5-0. and oh. Will Raps attempt to get that diffuser down a second time? Last logic bomb goes, one E, one D still remaining, and there goes the diffuser. Liquid being reduced to just Lagonis. Their record when getting that first pick, doesn't matter here. They get kill number one, but then E1 toppled them, knocking each domino down one by one by one, from that point on. Yeah, you see Reset's good mind positions. He's putting left and right side of this bracket so that he can actually cover it for the rush. You see our Blitz can push him for that reason. Well, they just lost the Monty under very peculiar circumstances. Obviously, unideal resets. Trying to take advantage of that. Numbers stay even for the time being. Even though E1 was down, the two picks they get on a resets in Palu are good enough to tie them back up. Troubling signs for E1, though, as both Lucid and Sexy Cake are low on HP. That means that Raps, the only player at full HP who will be planting that diffuser, will rely on two players who could be taken out by a strong gust of wind. Raps getting that plant down, but plenty of red marks. Lagonis knows that they're in multiple angles, and he covers through both. Goes left, goes right. Ness gets the very final kill, and the diffuser will be easy to disable. Not exactly sure what caused the Monty to disconnect of Astro. That is terrible timing, and it would have been nice to have seen how it would have played out with the mountain still in play, but I imagine... Next set of utility should be the go push here, and Sexy Cake, he is actually pushed through. Oh yep. my, Nesk sees one drop pill, looks towards blue, E1 clobbering liquid on this entry point. Lagonis and resets, last two alive. Lagonis about to go down, resets in a 1v4. Hair strips out of Dodez, but the hallway is his undoing. Fighting 5v5 at full strength. E1 proving that they can hang with liquid. He's a sub. Laundry downstairs for the fourth site. Team Liquid lost that one on defense. Could have gone back there again, opting not to do that. Instead, go up to dorms. And it, well, it doesn't work out super well because they've already lost Volps. Liquid down by one with half the round to go. Yeah, and this is exactly what E1 they want. That early advantage, get some map presence, and they still have so much time to work with as well as they got half the round to go. Unfortunately, Astro has dropped, so it's down to a four versus four. They traded effectively. Last attempt that we saw from E1 on this bomb site was very, very successful. It was the first round they won. If you recall, they did it with the Glaz, Dokabi, Lion, Amaru combo. A lot more ordinary this time around, but Lion still being a fixture on this team. Now goes reset. Sexy cake. What appears to be inside a trophy and Liquid is just falling by the wayside. Good lord, they don't even need Astro. <laughs> E1 can win these 4v5s, and even when they went down 4v5 in round number three, it was still a very, very close round. Catch them. Oh, Sexy Cake already being dropped. First one to go, Nitro Cell used by Volps to secure the kill. That stat about Liquid always converting. Will it come to fruition here? E1 having a bit of staying power, they've got a Fink on the board, and all that boost seems to work, at least for Lucid, who takes the cameras and pulverizes the lesion of Nesk, who is roaming by these back stairs. Another attempt at laundry supply, where Liquid has gone 50-50 so far on this bomb site. They will suffer an unfortunate blow to Palu, their top two players statistically, and Nesk and Palu no longer available for the remaining two minutes. A very brisk pace, but there's a reason why you pick up Volts. That's so he can get a big pick. Luke in a second as well. Advantage goes back in favor of E1. These blows coming in very quick. Resets has been downed as well, so it's all up to Lagonis in a 1v3. Fenrir is the last player standing. Is something we've seen before. Odez almost getting that diffuser down. Doing so successfully. Not much available in the post plant. 
from the operators remaining on E1, so it's just going to be a slugfest between them. Lagonas with very limited information coming up on the case. He looks over towards Box and gets shredded by Dodez, who had got the diffuser down and then gets the final kill for added measure. Maybe not the result that we were expecting, but a welcomed one nonetheless. Go out trying to stop Volps' advance from back tower stairs and doing a bit of damage in the process. Damage isn't really the name of the game in this instance, it's just keeping them at bay long enough for the push to come in and maybe be a bit too hasty. My oh. goodness, Volps giving himself away. Luke, it looked like he had two there, but it's Raps technically credited with the kill. Another follows up on Napalu that right now for Liquid, they're just walking right in and as Lagonis gets a very weak exit kill, it denies the flawless for E1, which probably should have been theirs. Either way, I don't think they're gonna sweat over it. Going to get sandwiched right now. Luke oh. looking up top. Volps getting the pick as he goes up the stairs. A big opening for Liquid. They need these types of plays more and more and more. Resets in a very familiar spot though. Back at the same age. They have to problem solve from behind. They do have a bombsite to work with, utility, etc. But this Kid Storm's bombsite is slowly going to get smaller and smaller as Liquid they close in on those bombsite walls. There goes another as well. Astro meeting his end at the hands of Volps. A grenade goes out, but that's it. Two for Volps before he exits this round. I think that's a pretty good position given how little HP he had. Raps contending with big window as it hits the if that team play. Hey, you complimented for Liquid is really on display. It won't matter how much or how little HP they have. That's a bit of a sloppy position by Nest. Dodas gets two for his trouble. Take it out. Frostmat seen it's sexy cake in a 1v1 against resets, who is on a single point of HP. Former player on the team looking to send E1 to match point. Sexy cake will drop though. Resets now has the diffuser. He's past the point of no return. He'll stick the plant. If he falls off this plant, that's the round, and it Ooh. is indeed the timer giving it to E1. They're on match point, Nick. <laughs> and it comes down to the zero seconds. I mean, they played some guns from E1 have worked out, and the one player that you said that most people would be least familiar with, which is Dodez, has been a standout performer. Liquid gets on the board first, which is very good for them, as we said in the previous round. Down goes Astro, but... He wanted Astro drop out of a couple rounds, and you know what? They still won some of those rounds. So maybe not all hope is lost here. Oh, and it's the Capcan as well. Those traps will still do damage from the grave as long as they've been put down, they have. But the thing is, Luka shoots back, and so does Raps. Oh my, he had the Deagle out looking for more than that. The defense holding firm inside a meeting at the moment, fully being open, and also denying the line of sight from the top of Tower Stairs. Palu lurking down below. I believe this was one of his nades that had broken open that box hatch. Going fishing for a kill. Down goes resets. Only two remaining for Liquid. He won. Are currently in the driver's seat here. Palu needs to walk up towards this stage where there will be a several sets of eyes from E1 staring him down. All the while, Lagonis is wrapped around towards the beginning of meeting. He dies and surrenders Diffuser, and Palu finds himself on an island. Four players from E1 to try and deny this, but Palu gets two huge picks. Wraps and Sexy Cake remain. Age, both members of E1 swing, nobody hits Palu. They'll come back in towards stage. Sees the head of Raps, and again, just trying to buy time, doing some damage to Sexy Cake. Raps wasting this clock down, and it's a team effort, but E1 get it done. Holy smokes, Nick, six rounds yeah. in a row.